Hello everyone. Welcome to the episode of Technology Bites brought to you by Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. In this week's episode, we will be talking about Bitcoin, the ledger technology behind Bitcoin called blockchain, and how transactions are created and validated in the Bitcoin blockchain network. So let's get started. So in order to understand Bitcoin, let's first understand the evolution of money. Generations ago, other form of value items like gold were publicly used to exchange values, which was later replaced by fiat systems, which centrally control and prints legal money for making any financial transactions. So this fiat money is not backed by any commodity such as gold, and the value of money is derived by various economical factors, relation between supply and demand, and the stability of fiat system printing the money. People in the economy trust the fiat system for determining the true value of money. Now, as digital technologies evolved, and in today's environment, we use digital wallets, credit cards to make transactions instead of physical money. Now, with the money becoming digital, there arises a problem where somebody can duplicate the digital money and spend it in many places. In order to overcome this double spending problem, systems like bank ledgers, property ledgers provide a centralized solution to record any transaction. For instance, everyone has a bank account and we trust the bank system to ensure accounts are up to date. Now the problem of double spending and the use of global centralized ledger was a major hurdle for a global digital money. Then came Bitcoin, which was first introduced through white paper in 2008, which proposed a decentralized system, which basically tries to solve the double spend problem through an open, transparent, distributed ledger called blockchain that records and manages transactions without the need of any intermediary or central authority. Now as Bitcoin is a decentralized system, every computer system can be part of this decentralized system and hold copies of the distributed ledger. The computer systems in the Bitcoin network are referred to as miners. Now the miners play a very critical role in a decentralized network where they process the Bitcoin transactions. Now, as there is no central authority to validate the transaction, consensus needs to be reached by the majority of the miners in the system. Now, the miner basically solves a puzzle which requires a lot of computation power and the first miner to solve the puzzle gets Bitcoin as a reward. Once the puzzle is solved, the puzzle answer is then shared to all the miners in the system which validates the accuracy of the answer and confirms. Once the majority of the miners confirms the answer, the transactions gets validated and it's committed as a block of transaction in the ledger. Now how does the Bitcoin system ensures there is no tampering of ledger details in the blockchain? Now blockchain is basically a chain of transaction where the current transaction records refer to previous transaction records through some unique hash values. So basically every transaction is linked and breaking or tampering the records make it virtually impossible. To summarize, Bitcoin has a huge potential. It is being viewed as an alternative to fiat money, which is not controlled by any fiat system in the world. Now with Bitcoin now being publicly traded and more fiat systems started recognizing this as an alternative digital currency, the future of Bitcoin looks quite interesting. So this concludes our short introduction to Bitcoin and blockchain 
and how transactions are created and validated in a Bitcoin blockchain network. So in the next week video, we'll continue this topic and we'll talk about types of blockchain and how the blockchain technology can be used for enterprises and the role of cloud in creating blockchain application. Hope you found this information useful and uh, please do subscribe to the Technology Byte playlist provided in the video description to receive regular updates. Till then, have a great week and happy learning.